everyone you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x this is equal to 130 so what is the value of x given that x is a member of real numbers so let's provide a solution from here now we can express 8 to the power of x as 2 to the power of 3 then this to the power of x then plus here we have 2 to the power of x this is equal to 130 the next step is that 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m and this can be expressed as a to the power of m raised to the power of n so let's apply this exponent property so that we have 2 to the power of x then raised to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x this is equal to 130 the next step is that 2 to the power of x is common here so we can let 2 to the power of x be equal to u let's substitute u into this equation so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u this is equal to 130 so let's take 130 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 130 this is equal to 0 the next step is that we can express 130 this is the same thing as 26 multiplied by 5 so 26 times 5 is the same thing as 130 so we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus we have 26 multiplied by 5 this is equal to 0 now now from here we can express u this is the same thing as 26 u subtract 25 u so let's substitute this so that now here we have u to the power of 3 then plus 26 u subtract 25 u minus 26 times 5 this is equal to, to 0 we can rearrange this equation such that we have u to the power of 3 minus 25 u then plus 26 u then subtract 26 times 5 this is equal to this is equal to 0 now we have two parts here we have this is the first part here and this is the second part from the first part here u is common so we can factor out u so that we have u into the parentheses this is u squared minus 25 cross the parentheses then plus the second part here 26 is common so we have 26 into the parentheses we have u minus 5 this is equal to 0 now we have that u squared minus 25 this can be expressed as u squared minus 5 squared cross the parentheses then plus 26 then we have u minus 5 this is equal to 0 u squared minus 5 squared this is in the form of a squared minus b squared this is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b so applying this property then we have u into the parentheses this is u plus 5 multiplied by u minus 5 then we have plus 26 multiplied by u minus 5 this is equal to 0 so you can see here u minus 5 is common so let's factor out u minus 5 so that now here we have u multiplied by u plus 5 then plus here we have 26 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so here we have u minus 5 now 
Here we have u times u, this is u squared, then plus u times 5, this is 5u, then plus 26, this is equal to 0. We have two parts here, the first part is u minus 5, this is equal to 0, and the second part here is u squared plus 5u plus 26, this is equal to 0. Now from the first part here, we have that u is equal to 5. We have u is equal to 5. Now, the second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u, then plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and that c is equal to 26. So the next step is to check the nature of the root of this quadratic equation. Let's check the nature of the root by determining the discriminant value, which is equal to, this is b squared minus 4ac. Now, we have here, this is 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, 10 times c, which is 26. So 5 squared, this is equal to 25 minus 26 times times 4, this is 104. And this means that the discriminant value here is minus 79, and this is less than 0. So this means that here we have two complex roots. We have two complex roots, and this part will not give us a real solution. So there is no real solution from this quadratic equation part. So in other words, the quadratic equation is rejected. The quadratic equation is rejected since we have that x is a member of real numbers. Now, the next step is that we have u is equal to 5. And if you recall, we have seen that we did 2 to the power of x be equal to 5 or be equal to u. So u is equal to 5. To solve for x, then we have to introduce logarithm, that is rog 2 to the power of x, this is equal to rog 5. Now, we are saying we have rog 2 to the power of x, this is equal to rog 5. Then we have that rog 2 to the power of x, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. Now, applying this logarithm property, rog 2 to the power of x becomes x rog 2. This is equal to rog 5. So let's divide both signs by rog 2. Here we have rog 2. Now let's simplify rog 2 and rog 2 here. So that now x is equal to, this is rog 5, divided by rog 2. Now, we have that rog 5 over rog 2. This is in the form of rog A divided by rog B, which we can express as rog A to base B. So let's apply this logarithm property from here. And this means that the value of x here is equal to, this is rog 5 to base 2. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. So the next step is to verify if this value of x satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 130. Let's substitute the value of x. So we have 8 to the power of rho, 5 to base 2, then plus 2 to the power of rog 5 to base 2, this should give us a value of 130. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now we have 2 to the power of 3, this to the power of rog 5 to base 2, then plus 2 to the power of rog 5 to base 2, this should give us a value of 130. So, 
2 to the power of 3 log 5 to base 2 this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 log 5 to base 2 plus 2 to the power of log 5 to base 2 this should give us a value of 130 now 3 is a power here so we can express this as 2 to the power of row 5 to the power of 3 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of row 5 to base 2 this should give us a value of 130 now 2 to the power of row 5 to the power of 3 to base 2 and 2 to the power of row 5 to base 2 this is in the form of a to the power of row b to base a which is equal to b so let's apply this logarithm property so that 2 to the power of rog 5 to the power of 3 to base 2 this is equal to 5 to the power of 3 which is equal to 125 and we have that 2 to the power of rog 5 to base 2 this is equal to 5 so let's substitute 125 and 5 back to the equation and this means we have 125 plus 5 this should give us a value of 130 so 125 plus 5 this is 130 which is equal to 130 so this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that the value of x here which is equal to rock 5 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation so kind of follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and subscribe thank you for watching and see you in the next video